In my laboratory, we've for many years studied metal particles, uh, nanoparticles, and metal oxide nanoparticles. And conducting the basic science uh, around those particles, you know, we've found a number of applications. And some of those applications can be applied to consumer products like, uh, like t-shirts, for example. Um, one of the things you can do is to link uh, silver nanoparticles to these fabrics and it makes them antimicrobial, which therefore allows them to be, uh, uh, prevent hospital-borne infection or to prevent odor. And what's really interesting about preventing odor in these cases is that that contributes to a much more sustainable product because uh, you, if you wash the fabric less often or the shirt less often, you're going to save the water and detergent that would normally be used in washing it. You're going to then uh, also uh, allow that material, that, that shirt to last longer because it's not being uh, destroyed by the washing process. And therefore, um, you're going to cut down the amount of raw materials, water, um, and energy that are going into making that, that shirt. So you really uh, get a benefit across the whole life cycle of the shirt, uh, including reducing the raw materials that go in, the water and detergent that are used during its uh, life, and then at the end of life you, you end up generating a lot less waste. Will, they, will it remain unstinky or is there some limit? <laughs> So the durability of the silver nanoparticle coating on the fabric actually uh, depends upon the technology. And the, the uh, technology that we've developed in partnership with Dune Sciences, which is a University of Oregon spin-off company, that the durability of that material depends upon a linker that holds the particles directly to the fabric. It binds it irreversibly to the, fab to the fabric. And as a consequence, it lasts for many, many wash cycles. Uh, in fact, uh, in some cases we've measured that the silver stays on for 150 washes. So that's, that's really a long time and, and shows that the right technology, that right linking chemistry will uh, maintain a durable coating. How about wears per wash? I mean, is there some point where body odor will overwhelm the silver nanoparticles? Well, it's a really interesting question uh, how many times so, uh, someone might be able to wear a garment before they would want to wash it. Uh, the odor that, that builds up in the fabric is a consequence of, of microbes producing waste byproducts and the silver will continue to kill those and so the that in that regard, the fabric will remain odor-free for a long time. In fact, in the shirts that, I, that we've made, uh, I've worn one of them every day running, uh, every day for two weeks without washing it, and it really doesn't develop an odor. That said, it does build up salt. Um, it does get dirty, and so you do have to wash it. But it's a very interesting question of um, how consumers attitudes and behaviors might change if you introduce this technology. Will people just throw the shirt in the wash every time like they might be used to? Or will, with this new type of technology, will they actually start washing less? And I, I think, at least for those people that we've shared our technology with you know, in the initial stages, they're excited about the possibility that they might be able to wear that shirt for, let's say, a week at least without having to wash it. Um, and not have that odor build up. Is the technology costly? So the question of the economics of such a product is an interesting one. It turns out that on a shirt uh, such as polyester, one only has to load about 25 parts per million. So you know, 25 mass units per million mass units. Um, it's an incredibly small amount of silver and as a consequence the expense in a coating a shirt is actually pretty low. Um, just a few cents per article. And how does this um, discovery um, uh, exemplify your approach to science as a green chemist? Yeah, m my, my approach to chemistry and green chemistry is based upon two aspects. The first is 
for my whole career, I've been fascinated by controlling molecular architectures. How do you, how do you design a material that has very specific attributes at the molecular level or the nanoscale level, so very small features. How do you control the architecture so that that material performs the function you want? And the nanoparticles that we use in the coating on these fabrics is designed with an architecture that slowly releases the silver, but at the same time holds the particle firmly to the fabric. Those are two aspects of the architecture. Related to green chemistry, the incorporation of these kinds of particles on the surface exemplifies the approach we take with all of our green chemistry projects, which is how do we maximize the performance of the material while minimizing any health or environmental impacts. In the case of the silver nanotechnology, by being able to completely define that molecular architecture and optimize its performance while reducing the amount of silver that has to be used, once again we can get high performance and really low impact.